afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Tigers and the Minnesota Twins. Minnesota find themselves on a five game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Temperature about what you'd expect for this time of year. 56 degrees at first pitch. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. This is in the air to left. Stewart is there, and he makes the catch for the out. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air and deep to left center field. Center fielder looking up for the track to the wall. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. But the Twins fire the opening salvo as they're on the board courtesy of this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and the Twins are off to an early 1-0 lead. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Garver recovers, but no chance to recover. Candelario is on it first after the that strikeout. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Candelario isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate. We're all square and one apiece. It, Grayson Grenier as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through a base hit. Stewart blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And the runner from second will stay put at third. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And the run is in to score from third. That pitch very well. So he was confident doubling up. Does he triple up on it? Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third hey. as they'll open up a 3-1 to one lead. Throw won't now get him. Designated hitter. Miguel. Comes set with the 0-1. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is high. The throw is going to be far too late. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. This is skied into short left center. Chasing after it is Rosario. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. It's the Tigers three and the Twins one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. And the Tigers have taken a 4-1 to one lead. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Pulled toward right center field. Kepler's on his horse. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. The relay. Man, this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first was waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though. In now, Kristen Stewart. As he sends it on the ground to first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. That's off to that one. Wow. Showed some great athleticism, and it winds up being an RBI ground out instead. Tigers lead this one 5-1. to one. Welcome back. As the Twins look to get their bats going in the third inning, and you can say they've really been trying to do that pretty much all year. 
at the start of the day, they have the worst team batting average in the league. And when I talked with one member of the coaching staff, he told me there's really no good excuse or explanation for it. Lined hard toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Comes set and the 0-1. This is pulled into right. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deficit. Now batter, the deficit. This one is launched. Look at this. And it's into the bullpen. A home run. As they open it up to 6-2 to two now. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. But tack on one more to the Tiger lead thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Tiger six and the Twins two. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And it's gone into the home bullpen. And with that, it's now a 6 to 3 ball game. But not before the Twins get one, and it comes on this solo home run. We played four. It's the Tigers six and the Twins three. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. Pulled toward right center field. In there, a base hit. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. Now, first pitch of the at bat. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. A jumping catch at second for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater. And quite frankly, like it better on the road than they do at home. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. And this will bang up against the wall. Scope ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate as they open it up to 8-3. to three. So much of this game is situational hitting, Number guys. Four. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Tigers eight and the Twins three. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Rizzolo is hitting over 400. Doesn't matter if you're talking about a series of games or a whole career, that's an impressive figure. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. Now batter, designated hitter. The 2-1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Now he just that, tattoos this ball baseball. right here. Tried to Deeper. sneak a fastball in Deeper. on him? No way. Drives it to deep left center field gap, and that was a nice job to get the barrel around in time to score that. From the stretch. Liner toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The relay throw, and he'll scramble back to first safely. At the plate, Kristen Stewart. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Kepler's there for it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. 
Here's another one, too. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. Mixed in right with field. one of those four was a round tripper. Not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. It's the Tigers nine and the Twins three. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Scope will look this one in, and there are two away now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, I know you don't want to jinx it by talking about it, but this streak now, it's up to 11 games. 9-3, to three, the final tally here in this one. Matthew Boyd earns win number four on the season as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Jake Odorizzi struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt. <laughs>